to good day everyone so for today's lesson is we're going to talk about moral courage but before we proceed on our discussion let us have first a recap on our last lesson so for the last time we've already discussed reason and impartiality and what are their differences and how does reason and impartiality stand in morality and what are the seven steps of moral reasoning. So for that part, seven step moral reasoning help us to um, solve another or solve a problem or come up into a decision and step by step. Meaning to say, uh, yung isang bagay is we're going to solve it step by step with that seven-step moral reasoning by going through the case or um, exploring more about the cases. Yeah. And for the reason and impartiality, mahalaga si reason and si impartiality when it comes to morality. It's because it helps us to lessen and eliminate the different biases so as learn more about the informations of the certain topics or certain cases in a scenario. So with that, um, as we all know, we've, as we've learned morality, morality is essentially, ano, nakadepende siya sa ating feelings. Yung last time na diniscuss ko. But to say at least, depending only to our emotions or feelings when it comes to morality is disadvantageous. That's why papasok na si reason and impartiality and morality. That's why um, sabi ko sa inyo last time na ating discussion is we should not just rely on the feelings. We should also have the reason. We should also have reason why does this event or why does this person is um, going through these stages or this um, type of event. And so another one is that in resolving moral dilemma, um, it is advised us to guide our emotions with reasons. Yun na yung nasabi ko kanina. And not totally to suppress it, but syempre, reason for many ethicists or, or for many person who is studying ethics reason is also important not just our um not just our feelings as a person and for them reason also would not be i know would not be enough for carrying out our decisions in life but people should also have moral courage so what is moral courage yeah back moral courage is doing the right thing, even the risk of inconvenience, ridicule, punishment, loss of job or security or social status, etc. So meaning to say, doing the right thing. Doing the right thing, even if the risk of inconvenience. Sabi dito. For example, it is now face-to-face. -face. So let's go back to the face-to-face -face where kailangan pa natin bumiyahe ng malayo, kailangan na we have to deal with the traffic, Meron pa rin scenarios na yung mga students mo or yung mga classmates nyo, is it's a shot nyo mo, oy, andyan na ba si ma'am? Andyan na ba si sir? Ayan. So, di ba? So, on that case, ayan, um, sabihin na natin na late ka na, late ka na papasok ng camp. So, and yung professor nyo na yun, and sobrang higpit niya when it comes to attendance. So, um, for example, it's 7 a.m., na class and with that 7 a.m. na class is sobrang hectic pa ng professor meaning to say um he is giving you or she is giving you 15 minutes na um grace period but if ever na malate ka doon sa 15 minutes na grace period for example at 7 16 ka dumating sa classroom ninyo is hindi ka na pwedeng mag attend that's and so, syempre, yun yung inconvenience doon, yung maliliit ka. So, ganito, meron kang nakasalubong na isang matanda na hirap na hirap sa kanyang mga dalahin doon sa kanto ng sigat. 
And after that is, um, nagtutulaw ang isip ka kung tutulungan mo siya kay Hebe. But, mas pinili mo pa rin na tulungan ka. Kasi, ay tulungan siya kasi yun yung sa tingin mo na tama. Kahit na marilate ka na and marilate yung iyong attendance. So, that is moral courage. Risk of our inconvenience. Diba? So, um, I'm going to have more discussions or um, more examples later on. And ikakabit natin yung moral reasoning sa mga sabit ibang scenarios. Sa pang-araw-araw natin, gawain na. Pang-araw-araw natin, buhay. Ayan. So, without moral courage, syempre, there are some um, elements pa rin na tumutulong sa moral courage para ma-achieve natin yan. So, with that, Before I proceed, I want you to ask some questions. First one, what is your goals in life? Ayan. Ano nga ba yung goal natin sa buhay? Ako ang goal ko before, before I graduated college, is that um to have or to become a licensed professional. So that's why after I graduated a uh, Bachelor of Science in Psychology is that I also took up the board exam that same year. And So kayo, what is your goal in life? It may be a long-term goal or it could be a short-term goal. So for me before, my long-term goal is that to have a... Before I proceed to college, my long-term goal is that to have a diploma, a college diploma. No natapos ko na si college diploma, my long-term goal is now to become a professional or to have a career in the certain profession na napili ko. So, kayo, ano naman yung goal ninyo? It could be a long term, it could be a short term. Short term goal is, ito yung pang, saglitan lang talaga na short. Uh, it could be a span of short time. It could be in a span of one month. It could be a span of, siguro, um, one year. Mga ganun. Hindi siya totally ganun katagal na pag, um, tawag ito, pagtatrabawuan natin. Like that. For example, ako, ang short-term goal ko is maipasa lahat-lahat ng requirements namin on time. Like that. Diba? So, kayo, ano yung long-term or it's either short-term goals na nyo? Diba? So, next one, after having our short-term or long-term goals, what are your plans in achieving them? So, paano ba ninyo o paano ba sa tingin ninyo ma-achieve nyo yung short-term or yung long-term goals ninyo? Ako for my short-term goal, my plan in achieving them is planning how to die or planning my time. Meaning to say, um, ipa-plan, ipa-plot ko sa isang paper yung mga gagawin ko. For example, this Monday, itong activities na to, sa second ko, Ayan. For this day, I have to accomplish this and that and that. Get it? For my short-term goal. For my long-term goal is siyempre working and planning on those steps. For example, and my, one of my long-term goal nga is to have a career. Diba? Before, balik tayo dun sa nung college ako. Ayan. Nung college time ko, my first step is that graduate ako ng college. After I graduated college, siyempre is to take the board exam. So that is one of my plans. After achieving that short-term goals is um, exploring the different settings in psychology. Pero hindi ko siya nagawa. Dahil ever since po na graduate ako from college is I already um I only have a career or a profession in teaching field or educational setting. Yeah. So kayo, what is your plans in achieving your short-term and long-term goals? Diba? So syempre, in achieving our plans and achieving our goals, we should have also will. What do we say by will? It generally is the faculty of the mind that selects at the moment of decisions, a desire among the various desire present, it 
it itself does not refer to any particular desire, but rather the mechanism responsible for choosing from among one's desire. So, anong ibig sabi nito? Ang mam sobrang haba naman ng definition niya. Ito lang yan. Desire among the values desire present. So, meaning to say, ito yung nagpapatakbo sa atin or it keeps us going. So, meaning to say, for will, it enables a person to act deliberately according to their own plan and according to their own step in achieving their own goals. Siyempre, will works along with the reason. Always remember that. So, siyempre, um, wait lang, mamaya ka na. Yeah. So for will, siyempre, it stands us or it gives us the understanding that it gives us the central role to act deliberately. Yun nga yung sabi ko sa inyo, di ba? It acts or it helps us to achieve what we're going or achieve the steps by step dun sa ating um, goal, patungo sa ating pinaka-goal. So, for example, is merong isang um, hagdanan, di ba? So, syempre, will, it gives us the power or, or the mechanism para maakakakit dun sa um, tinatawag natin ladder na yun, to achieve dun sa pinaka-top, which is our goal. Ayan. So, syempre, when we become conscious of ourselves, we recognize that our essentials is endless. Meaning to say, we want to, if we want to achieve something, let us um, be reminded of the opportunities para ma-achieve yung goal na yun. And with that, we can achieve that using our will with, together, syempre, with the reason. Ayan. Kaya siya tinawag na mechanism responsible for choosing um, among our desires. And so, syempre, we're going to talk about him. Sino nga ba siya? So, he is Arthur Schopenhauer. See, Arthur Schopenhauer is um, one of the ethicists or philosophers, German philosophers, who state that um, our innermost essence, the kernel of every particular thing and also of the world, it appears in every blindly acting force of nature and also deliberate conduct of the man. So meaning to say, if we came across ourselves, we know more ourselves and um, we have a goals in life, no? we know that our imaginations, or yung mga kakayahan natin is endless siya. So, we can achieve that through this and that. Or through this, or through doing this, and through doing this thing. Ganyan. So, sa, syempre, um, for him, will will always be an essential quality of a person. Kasi through will, we can achieve our goal. It gives us the motivation to achieve our goal. It gives us the power that we can achieve our own goals in life. Yeah. So after that is he believed and he believed in using the knowledge or will is the primary and uses knowledge in order to find an object that will satisfy its craving. So meaning to say we're going to use our own knowledge and our own knowledge in order to um, find what is our desire or in order to achieve what is our goal. And so willpower. So let us talk about willpower. Naman. Ano naman si willpower? So it is our ability to resist our short-term temptations in order to meet our long-term goals. Siyempre, hindi natin may iwasan yung problems along the way when achieving our goals. Anjan yung mga failures, anjan yung people um, were demotivated or unmotivated and doing that kind of thing. Anjan din yung part na 
um, tinataman na tayo. We don't want it na gawin yung mga bagay na gusto namin natin gawin in order to achieve the kind of goal. Siyempre, through willpower, it helps us to lessen or resist yung mga short-term temptations that we have or we uh, or came up along the way in achieving our long-term goals. So for example, one of your long-term goals is to have a degree. Trevor, what would be the um what would be the temptations there? Trevor, engine temptations, one number one is your barcada when it comes to face to face. Diba? Oh, and you know bad influence the barcada, like for example, in business pumasa kayo and your ethics or your dun sa in yung subject is magagala na lang kayo or pumunta na kayo sa gantong lugar. Diba? Spending your time um, si- ever since umaga hanggang hapon na dun lang sa place na yun na wala ka nang pinasok or hindi ka na nakapasok on your um, classes. Another one, if your long-term goal is to buy your own house, ayan, remember what would be the short-term temptations doon. Short-term ten- temptations doon would be um, mahirapan, mahirapan kang mag-ipon because um, of the part na mahirapan kang mag-ipon kasi may mga kaibigan ka na nagyayayang magala or you wanted to travel imbes na mag- or imbes you want to travel more imbes na mag-ipon ka na kahit pa paano or minsan is sobrang ano mo lang sobrang gastador mo na kada may sale sa Shopee or may free voucher sa Shopee or sa Lazada is ano ka lang check out ka lang ng check out ganyan so that would be an example of short term temptations when it comes to meeting our long term goals so ang ginagawa ni willpower is it gives us the strength to resist those short-term temptations. So, through willpower, we can achieve or we can achieve different kind of things. Trevor, we're going to achieve our long-term goals through willpower. So, willpower also uh, refers to the inner strength to make decisions, take action, and handle and execute any aim or task until it is accomplished, regardless of the inner and outer resistance, discomfort, and difficulties. Meaning to say, um, through willpower, it helps us to give us the strength and gives us the motivation to achieve our long-term goals. So, um, yung mga unnecessary tasks para ma i-execute natin yung ating long-term goals is in-eliminate niya or it helps a willpower helps us to execute or eliminate those kind of things. Siyempre, kung hindi naman kailangan si task, hindi yun i-execute ng tao na yun because he has a strong willpower. So, yeah. so after having or after knowing what is will and what is willpower and what is moral courage, is we're going to talk about how are we going to develop our moral courage. Siyempre, um, hindi naman agad-agad or hindi naman ganun ka-innate kasi sa atin yung ating will and moral courage. So meaning to say, we can develop it over time. Kasi mayroong mga tao na um, nahihirapan sila to develop this type of will and moral courage in their life. Kasi nga, um, hindi nila yun na practice. So for this time, is we're going to develop our, or we're, I'm going to discuss to you the tips on how are we going to develop our will and moral garbage. So yan. Ito ay mga paraan lamang. Yan. Number one, develop and practice self-discipline. Siyempre, how are you going to develop or how are you going to achieve your goal if you don't have a self-discipline? Siyempre, in achieving our, it's either short-term or long-term goal, we have to have a self-discipline. Bakit kailangan ng self-discipline? It's because, ethically applied, it may refer to giving up of instant pleasure and satisfaction for the higher and better goal, such as executing a good, rational, or moral decision. So, meaning to say, yung mga bagay na sa tingin naman natin, is hindi naman siya necessarily in 
um necessary in achieving our goals is syempre, we're going to eliminate it. So developing self-control would also help us to nurture our capabilities as a person. So yung hindi ko naman sinabi na bawal magpahinga kapag tayo ay pagod na. Hindi ko naman dun sinabi. Hindi ko rin naman or in this part is hindi naman nito sinabi na um, kailangan go ka lang, grind ka lang ng grind. Um, for this part, syempre, yung mga bagay na sa tingin naman natin is hindi naman siya nakakatulong. We should eliminate it. Like for example, kasi minsan, nagiging ex- so may mga tao na nagiging excuse na lang yung sabi namin, magpapahinga muna ako. Na hindi na nila namamalay, na nagpa-procrastinate na sila in achieving their own goal. Yan lang. Like for example, sabi nila, yung I don't think if I think na naranasan niya din ito. No? Yung tipo, nag-send si teacher na nag-send si teacher na video presentation. Yeah. So sa so video presentation, syempre we're gumagawa kami considering na yung iba nga sa inis hindi nakakapasok because of the slow internet connection. So that's why video presentation is there. Tapos, um, nag-meet din kayo or nag-meet din tayo for that same day. And sinend ko lang din yung video presentation or video recording. So mayroon lang kang hindi na intindihan sa discussion ko. Kasi for you, ang bilis ng discussion ko. ba? Diba? So, ano yan? Wait lang, hindi ko naiintindihan. Nagtanong ka sa classmate mo, hindi rin naiintindihan ni classmate. Nag-check ka sa internet para sa'yo masyadong uh, malalim yung part na yan. So, with that, syempre, tinamad ka na. Or parang, ayaw mo na, ayaw mo na, na gawin or ayaw mo nang basahin or ayaw mo na panoorin yung video presentation ng professor mo na binigay. Kasi nga, parang para sa'yo, hindi mo na siya maiintindihan. And with that, ang mangyari is, imbis na panoorin mo ulit yung video presentation na sinend ng professor mo, is ang ginawa mo ay nag, ano ka na lang, uh, tawag nito, naglaro ka na lang ng ML or or gumala ka kasama yung friends mo. ba? Diba? So, it could also mean yung instant pleasure sa atin. So, hindi mo na nagawa or hindi mo na na research yung dapat mo i-research. So, meaning kasi hindi mo na um, na-ponder yung knowledge na dapat um, makukuha mo for that recording or certain video presentation. So, asan doon si self-discipline? Wala, ba? Diba? So, there are times na we should or um, we should prioritize our goals over our satisfaction or pleasure. So, syempre, there are times na mapapagod tayo, but we should always make into account na um, yung pagod, dun sa pagod na yan, meron tayong ginawa. Ayan. And also, um, developing and practicing your self-discipline would help us to achieve goals nga. Kasi, alam natin kung ano yung potential natin. Or, we know what is our goal. Alam natin sa sarili natin yung mga bagay na nais natin ma-achieve. Eh kung hindi mo naman kasi alam yung mga bagay na nais mong ma-achieve or hindi mo alam yung way paano mo ma-achieve yung isang bagay, it will ruin what is your goal. Diba? So next one, do mental strength. So, ito yung pinaka-crucial in this piece. Doing mental strength training. So, in this trying times, syempre, sobrang hirap when it comes to reaching out with our friends. Hindi naman sa lahat ng, or our family members, then hindi naman sa lahat ng RS is they are all available. So, one of the most simple and effective methods under this mental, under this is mental strength training, which involves declining to satisfy an important and necessary desire. And, so, syempre, all of us, like what I have said earlier, has or confronted an endless stream of cravings of temptations. So, hindi naman natin may iwasan yung temptation sa buhay natin, di ba? By that, and 
And yung mga temptations na yun is actually they are not important. Hindi man ganun ka-importante yung mga bagay na yan. So sometimes, um, one of the things that we're going to do in doing a mental strength training is that saying no to useless, harmful, or unnecessary desire and needs and behaving contrary to one's habits. Ayan. So, ang problema kasi dun sa atin sa Pilipino or ma- tayo mga Pilipinas, we forgot to say no or we don't know how to say no. Ayan. Lalo na minsan sa mga tropa, di ba? Yung ages na teenage years, ayan. So, medyo crucial siya is because madali silang ma-influensyahan ng mga um, maling influensyahan dahil we don't know how to say no. That's it. Yep. And so I will give you some examples on how are we going to do our mental strength training. So number one, don't open the internet for a day or two. Bakit? So these tips or these examples will also help us to um, do some mental strength training. So it will help us na mapgar on the strength or um mental strength ayan so hindi naman siya necessarily or ethically um tawag nito ethically necessary but it would help us in an ethical way or um not so ethical way so don't open the internet for a day or two syempre kaya niyo ba yan so internet this days could not be or could not be helpful when it comes to our mental health. Alam, I don't know if nangyayarinasan yan. Kasi madaming toxicity na nangyayari at nang gagawa yung internet sa atin. Ano yung influensya ng internet sa atin. So, internet could also um influence our moods or yung um araw natin that, on that day. Ayan. So, this, ito yung isa sa hamon ko sa inyo. Don't open the internet for a day or two. Siyempre, after the semester na. Ayan. Next one, drink water or juice in spite of your desire to have a beer or liquor. Alam ko yung iba sa ano na, tawag nito, alak na, alak na. Ganyan. So, why not try to drink water or juice to uh, thirst your drink or to um satisfy your desire to have a beer or a other liquor. Siyempre, alam naman natin, pandemic, di ba? We have to stay healthy. Next one, avoid chatting where you gossip with friends. Ayan, we have this kind of friend na medyo lahat na lang ng shot sa inyo is kwento from the other person. Ayan. So, there are times na hindi din naman nakakatulong sa ganung friend. So, okay siya kung gusto mo ng mga bali-balida sa mga tao. But, having a gossip, too much gossip be friend would not help us. Lalo na kung paano kung meron kang dinaramdam, di ba? Tapos biglang nagkwento sa friend mo. Nagkwento yung friend mo na yun, di ba? So, it could affect ourselves. Ayan. Next one, for a week, for a week, go to sleep one hour earlier than usual. So before, if ever this time, times is, um, you're going to sleep, uh, you're sleeping 12 a.m. in the morning. And so why not try it na for this week, you're going to bed at 11 a.m., 11 p.m. Mga oh, yun the so, Then the usual. Next one, resist the desire to gamble. So, some of you, medyo, um, some people is, they have the tendency to gamble kasi parang it gives them satisfaction. Diba? So, ito mga, so, syempre, syempre, when doing mental strength training, we have to resist the desire to gamble. Ayan. We have to resist yung desire natin. Siyempre, pag susugal ka naman, hindi naman ganun ka sure 
kung mananalo ka in the end. Diba? So, yeah. so doing mental strength training with these five tips would also help us to strengthen our mental health or our mentality. Yeah. Next, number three, draw inspiration from people of great um, courage. And katulad na lang ni Mahatma Gandhi, ni Manny Pacquiao, ni Miriam Defensor, or ni Ma Martin Luther King, and si Ellen, Elon Musk. And people usually admire and respect courageous persons who have won great success by manifesting self-discipline and great power. Katulad na lang ni Manny Pacquiao. Di ba si Manny Pacquiao, he has a strong desire to win a medal or a belt in boxing for the Philippines. So, yeah. So, for us people, we should draw inspiration from them. Another one, Jose Rizal. Di ba? So, Jose Rizal is one of the Filipino heroes na lumaban to luma, pinaglaban yung halayaan natin mga Filipino. So, we should draw inspiration from him. So, yung mga ginawa niya before during the Spanish period is we could draw inspiration from that and apply it on this type of generation. Ganun. Another one. Pwede din yung mga um, influencers sa YouTube. Ayan. Hindi ko naman sinas... Yung mga influencer na good influence, syempre, ha? in encouraging our will and moral, uh, manifesting our self-discipline and will power. And hindi na ako mag drop. Pero there are persons na sobrang ina-admire ko when it comes to that. So next one, this includes people in all walks of life who will who share will power and moral courage, overcame difficulties and hardships, have improved their moral life, advance on the spiritual and moral path, and become worthy of imitation. Number, um, sabi ko sa inyo, we can draw inspiration from other people. Siyempre, it could be worthy of imitation. So, si Manny Pekha, worthy of imitation siya. Siyempre, if you're going to look back dun sa buhay niya before siya sumikat and before siya naging boxing champion ng Philippines, is, siyempre, hindi naman ganun ka ayos yung kanilang buhay. Or hindi naman ganun sila ka well off in life. Diba? When it comes to money, lalo na. So, there are some... Tawag ito. There are some also influencers or in YouTube na before hindi naman sila ganon ka ayos, di ba? And after years of um hard work, syempre, naging maayos na sila. They own a business. Um, they, people are drawing inspiration from them. Ayan. So, yan. Make sure na yung tao na kukunan natin ng inspirasyon na meron siyang mga tao na hindi lang sikat, but it should be also worthy of imitation. So it meaning to say, um, they promote the values of the Filipino despite of this modern world. Na they still um believe or they give us not just us, um the desire para makuha yung material things but to achieve the non-negotiable things. Like, for example, is the love for our family. Also, um, the value of friendship and relationship with other people. Yan on. Not just the value of money and fame. Ayan. May mga tao kasi na um, we idolize them because maganda sila or maayos sila manam manamit. Yan on. But, when it comes to the values that pinapakita nila to other persons is hindi naman siya worthy of emulation. So be careful. So we have to draw inspiration from people of great courage. When we say great courage is they can um tawag nito, they can gives us the inspiration or they can um help us to improve our lives by drawing inspiration from them. At make sure, in a of emulation, 
Number five, repeatedly do acts that exhibit moral courage and will. So, ano yung mga acts na yun? First one, practice makes you better. Siyempre, sabi nilang, practice makes you perfect. So, um, nerefreeze ko lang siya, practice makes you better. For me, there is no such thing. Kasi, um, practicing would help us or will make us better. Ayan. If one wishes to nurture the moral courage and will in him, he must try doing the acts that will manifest them whenever opportunity allows it. Ano ba yung mga acts na yun? So, number one, standing up to a bully on a playground. So, hindi naman na tayo bata for doing that, but it is one of the examples would, that could help us to um, practice or develop our moral courage and will. So, picking up the litter. So, sabi na natin na simple lang yan, but it would help us na, or it would help us na isave yung our environment. Doing homework or chores without being reminded. Ayan. So, syempre, kaming mga teachers, when it comes to doing your homeworks and activities, lalo na ako nagpapaalala ko ng mga missings ninyo, di ba? So, let us try without being reminded by our professors, or our teachers, or our parents when it comes to household chores. So, try natin na mag-volunteer on our own. And so, it could also help us to um, exhibit our moral courage and will. Refusing to listen or repeat gossip. Ayan, yung mag-spread ng false accusations or false rumors. Next one, practicing what you preach even when no one is looking or knows. Meaning to say, kung ano yung sinabi ninyo is make sure na napapractice din natin to in real life. Ayan, mayroon tayong mga friends na, may mga friends tayo, I remember this friend na ang galing-galing niyang mag-advise when it comes to love life. Pero yung love life niya, palpak siya. So, do you think um, may maniniwala pa sa inyo pag ano? Diba? So, syempre, practicing what we preach is one of the things na could help us to exhibit our moral courage and will. Kasi syempre, sinasabi natin yun eh, bakit hindi sa atin mismo manggaling yun? Diba? Next one, turning in a toy or wallet to the lost and found. So doing the right thing would also help us to yeah. So turning in a toy or wallet to the lost and found. So meaning to say um, returning yung mga bagay na hindi naman sa atin would also help us to develop our will and moral courage. Kasi it could also mean that we're doing the right thing. No? Next one. Last is avoid deeds that show lack of moral courage and will. So we should avoid that. So it involves invading the acts that show irresponsibility, cowardice, apathy, rashness, imprudence, ill will, and wickedness. So yung mga bagay na taliwas sa ating moral standards. Yung, like for example, pag nanakaw, cheating, and... So, being irresponsible. So, ito. Walking away from someone in need. So, yung nakita mo na na mayroong nangangailangan, but you refuse to help them. Taking more than your fair share. Ayan. So, taking advantage to other person, other people. Laughing at someone's misfortune or accident. Ayan. Grabbing the spotlight from someone who has earned it. So, usong-uso to sa ba, sa, ano, sa work. Also, mi, minsan din sa school. Yung taking the credit, taking the credit from someone na hindi naman ikaw yung gumawa. Or for example, sa mga activities, di ba? Um, sinabi mo na ikaw yung gumawa nun, but kinopya mo lang naman talaga yung sa classmate mo. Yan na. Placing too much reliance on the letter rather than the spirit of the law. Meaning to say, um, yung we pay too much attention dun sa mga bagay na maliliit na bagay rather than believing on the law. Lima lang yun eh. Pero 
other one is yan, lying or cheating. Sumunod din dito is breaking a promise. Diba? So yan. Um, remaining silent in the face of wrongdoing or injustice. Yeah, that could also be the deeds that show lack of moral courage. Because yeah, syempre, um, it could also be an example of cowardice. Yeah, marami marami pa siya, but you can search for it. So next one is for for our activity, kindly check out it on our respective Google Classroom. So don't forget to turn it in. Or message me if you have questions regarding our, our activity. And reminder ko lang po, we have a long quiz on Thursday or Friday, depending on our schedule. So any questions regarding my discussion, um, you can send me a PM or you can send a message on our, or on our respective group chat in Messenger. Yeah. So thank you for listening and always stay safe. Thank you, everyone.